Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is a timeless love reading for the first week, or it's being published in the first week of September. So let's take a look and see what we have for the energies in your love life at this time. Bottom of the deck, the overall energy is sadness. Whoa, Aries, what's going on here? We get the Three of Swords. We do get Taurus King here. Three of Wands. You have hope for the future, but you've really, you feel like you've been pushed off of the diving board into the pool when you're unprepared. All right, so let's see what the situation, what's the energy between you and your love interest in the recent past? The High Priestess, Cancerian energy. Currently, the mutual energy is a Ten of Coins, Virgo energy. How your person feels about or sees the relationship status at the current time. Pisces energy, Nine of Cups. The Ace of Cups is how they view you, Aries. That's Cancerian energy. The Two of Swords is how they're feeling in their heart space. That's Libra energy. The Four of Cups is how they view the future of the relationship unfolding. Cancerian energy. The hidden energy be between the two of you is a Five of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. Spirit is recommending, or the advice from Spirit is a Two of Cups. That's Cancerian energy. And the Knight of Swords is your outcome at this time for the reading, and that is Gemini energy. So, Aries, this is a very, very seriously almost endangered relationship. I'm going to clarify these cards for you because this is really a very intense reading, Aries. Very, very intense. There's a lot of unhappiness here on both your part and the part of your lover. Okay. So the High Priestess is telling me as your mutual energy that you're very intuitive with one another and that you both want something to work. You both want it to manifest. It looks like both of you really love each other. You really care for each other, but it's like you keep to yourselves. You don't share enough. So what is it that we need to know about this High Priestess for the two of you? High Priestesses are the keepers of secrets, and that is your mutual energy. So you are not revealing much of yourselves to one another. Why is that the case? Tell us why it's here. Spirit, please tell us why it's here. The Fool card. You want a new beginning, so you're going to keep your secrets to yourself. Aquarius energy. Okay. So why do you want a new beginning and you're covering it up with, or you're covering your secrets? Okay. Well, you have fire in your belly for each other. I like that. The strength card really speaks to the fact that you have a powerful new beginning uh, as you move forward. That's what you've been thinking in the recent past. You've been defensive with each other. The seven of wands reversed is also letting your guard down, not being so worried about what the other thinks or what the other person is doing. Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles is what it's my favorite marriage card. It's like a card of abundance and wealth and stability and a good life. It's the good life. Okay, it is marred somewhat by player energy. So although you're both coming into this energy with the desire for stability, feeling stable, for many of you, you could be married to this person. I don't think that you actually are married. I think you're living together because I have the Nine of Pentacles. But you're both very powerful creators, but you want more excitement in the relationship. There needs to be more excitement. So it does look like we have that Knight of Wands energy. It looks like there's been some fun. There's been some revelry, some good times. I get the Three of Cups. At one time, you felt like you were one another's best friend, and now you'd like to return to that time. The star card says that your person feels very much that you are a rock star. Really nice energy with the temperance card. That's reconciling differences and coming together, making things balance out. But this sort of sense of you're not as good of friends as you once were, or you're not best friends, is 
something that both of you want to change. The star card is really saying that your person has a lot of confidence and faith in the relationship. The per your person has confidence and faith in you. They want what they had with you at the beginning of the relationship. They will also want more stability. They do feel as though you're, you've gone through a rough patch and that now you're coming out of it. So it does look as though your person is very motivated to do what they can do to make things better between the two of you because you really have not been connecting in the recent past in a level that is satisfying to you. The Ace of Cups, why do they see you as the embodiment of new love? Uh, Nine of Wands. They feel as though you're kind of exhausted. They feel as though you're making an effort right now that you have fire in your belly for the relationship. They also see you as the Aries Queen. There you are, Aries, in your reading. They see you as somebody who really likes the conquest and the chase and the excitement and that you need a very high level of excitement in relationship. They feel bothered by that because you're not dealing with somebody who operates in that way. The person you're dealing with may be a Virgo or another earth sign who moves very slowly and it's almost as though Aries it's almost like your person feels as though you nag them because they move much more slowly much more methodically they think things through they really love you Aries they really love you their love for you may be more developed or more stable than your love for them and Aries you know no shade here but it does look like you demand you want more and you demand more out of your life of yourself and this person lives very differently so it does create a dynamic that's challenging for the two of you why is the four of cups here your person yeah your person just feels like they are not making you happy that you know they that you consider them very boring and that once again we have the two of swords almost like you nag them or you pick at them and it's really uncomfortable so when they look at the vision of the future for the two of you they're just not looking as hopeful as you know we'd like to see but we'll see here why else why do we have all of this energy Ah, uh, something about the internet. So they think that you're spying on other people on the internet or you're spying on them, but there's something about being on the internet, probably social media, that's making your person feel really insecure, that you are not really engaged with them, that they don't meet the criteria. They want so badly to be a win, winner in your eyes. Three of coins, they do feel as though collaboration is really important to the two of you working together, but the king of swords energy really says that your person's pretty upset. This king of swords reversed is like really, oof. It's tough energy, it's cold energy, it's like being locked down in Iceland, although Iceland's a beautiful place, but I just feel as though you, you get less and less from this person all the time. These cards fell out. I'm not going to take them. But again, here we have this intuitive feeling that your person and you are really thinking a lot about the stability of the relationship and the fact that it might not be a long-lasting or a forever relationship. So that's what I see is that it just simply, both of you have a lot of serious doubts about where you're going to go with this. You clearly love each other but that love is not enough sometimes. Why is a five of coins? Why do you both feel like you've been left out in the cold? Why do you both feel like you've been left out in the cold? The key is right there. The door is here. The per you, you both have to pick your heads up off of your lap. You don't have to be out in the cold. The Ten of Cups says that you have the power to have a happily ever after relationship. There's some attitude adjustments or, you know, some sort of inner work that needs to be done because you both really love each other. The Scorpio King and the, the Pisces uh, Ten of Cups are very deep love cards along with the Queen of Cups. You have divine partnership here. 
The Ace of Swords, as you both really know this too. What's the advice of Spirit here? The Two of Cups. What does Spirit want to tell us with that Two of Cups? This is your happily ever after. This is kind of, and here we have it again. Okay, so Spirit is saying that the two of you could be a whole lot happier than you are, but you're going to have to make some sort of effort. You know, that you're going to have to engage more fully, more honestly, more directly. You know, you need to find a happy space to be in with each other. And this is a soulmate experience. You're here to learn a lesson. There's something about this to be romantic with each other. The two of you, Spirit is saying, if you don't work through these issues in your relationship, the relationship is going to spiral out of control and die off that there will be a permanent breakup. Why is a Knight of Swords here? Ah, you're both going to... <laughs> Look at the beach. It looks like you're both in a hurry to go on a vacation. Somebody's rushing in with tickets. Somebody's rushing in with a surfboard, the tiki torches, the mosquito spray. <laughs> The, the life uh, the life anklets or mono, you know the life things that keep you afloat in the water the sun card okay so well like there I didn't see that coming very interesting reading that is your outcome a masculine energy appears to be rushing towards the solution which is to provide some stability for happiness joy and Aries you know the two of you are both very well um, capable of earning money and having a good life and having financial stability so let's see why the four of swords here is here why are you suffering eight of coins page of swords one of you is suffering over a job and one of you is suffering over some communication that they've seen or that's happened now those are not bad cards are actually pretty good so the Four of Swords says that both of you need a rest. Yeah. Oops, a daisy. Five of Coins. So there may be some concerns about a sudden job loss. There could be concerns about financial instability, but I'm getting that the two of you do have fire in your belly. The two of you will work through this problem. I don't really see it as a serious problem. I feel as though, Aries, you might feel more devastated by, by this in your person. It does look like the two of you also may move to a different location. Tell us about that Six of Swords card. That is, you know, like the water taxi has arrived, you know. You guys need to really get out of this energy. Look at that. Oh, nice that fell upside down onto my lap four of swords reversed so what i'm seeing here is it but there we have stubborn energy too all right so what i'm seeing is that you both really love each other but it looks as though you've developed some bad habits you're going to have to address let's look and see what the overall energy what's the advice or information from wisdom of the oracle ah look at that card it just fell out and kind of kept going back and forth you're at a fork in the road. A decision has to be made. You're going to have to decide whether you want the relationship or not. It's so weird because it's like you're both operating from fear. Yeah, you have to take the risk. You're both operating from fear. You're both feeling as though the other one doesn't give enough or there's a lot of discomfort. There's a lot of dissatisfaction, even though there's a lot of love. You are soulmates. You have the soulmate card twice now. So whatever it is that you're supposed to learn in this situation is pretty poignant. I want to look and pull a heart of the fairy or <laughs> I dropped all the cards. Uh, a heart of the er the fairy oracle for you to find out what the fork in the road is about. Okay, what is that? The queen of the night. Both of you stay awake at night. I would just say that you're all up in your head. The queen of the night is almost like a queen of swords energy. And it's really making the relationship. It's, you know, it looks like the temptation. Looks like one of you was 
yeah, I'm getting this reversal here. Whatever the temptation was that caused you to put the relationship at risk seems to have gone away. Why is a soulmate's card here? Why is a soulmate's card here? The queen of hearth and home. Well, that is with your good outcome because your good outcome is stability, nurturance, you know, really being stable and warm with each other, happiness, uh, moving very quickly into a period of prosperity, happiness, and joy. All right, so let's see what the Moonology deck is going to provide for advice. For, it's a really nice reading, but boy, there's work to do here, Aries. Sharpen the tools in the toolkit because there's work to be done. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. So it looks like, I would say, Aries, that's more your partner than you. They seem to be resolved in some idea of what should happen in your relationship because they're taking very fast action to resolve the conflict and the issues that have gone on. Let's see where both of you are in your journey of love. I'm going to pull one card for you, Aries, and one card for your person in this relationship at this time. Okay. The swan. Okay. So, Aries, that's you. You are transforming from the um, ugly duckling attitudes, perhaps. You know, I don't want to call anybody an ugly duckling, but it basically it's saying that you've transformed into a beautiful swan, which is you've done your work, you're growing, and your person is really being called on to pay attention to the small, you know, to divide, to devote your time to the things that are small but important in your relationship. So I'm going to leave it there. Aries, thank you so much. See you soon. I hope you like this.